2021 SB Live Washington Virtual Media Days because we can't do them in person this year, just as we did last year. I'm Dan Dickow alongside Todd Millis. For this episode, we are joined from Camus High School basketball head coach on the girls' side, Scott Thompson, and standout Faith Bergstrom. Scott, we'll start with you, coach. It's been a very interesting last 14, 15 months for everybody. You guys at least have gotten a head start on the basketball season in Southwest Washington compared to some other places in the state. What's it like been like to be able to compete and play over the last three, four weeks? Oh my gosh, we're just so happy to be here. I mean, we've been through so much. We've taken away so much from these kids that we're kind of in this situation now where we just, we're just ready to give back. And so getting these girls on the court has been phenomenal. Uh, we've got great energy in our gym. We've got great seniors that, um, you know, I just don't know what we would have done if we wouldn't have got this. And so we're just pumped up to be here, kind of taking it one day at a time, because again, like in the COVID era, like nothing is guaranteed. And so we're just going to lay it on the line every single day in practice, enjoy it as much as we can. And right now we're having a blast. Faith, coach mentioned he's having a blast. I can only imagine for you and your fellow teammates, uh, you were anticipating a season that hopefully would have started on time. Unfortunately, you didn't. Having a blast playing this senior season, what's it been like for you? I mean, it's been COVID, so it's definitely been uh, a bit different than a normal season, but it's been really great to just get back into the swing of, the, the, oof, the swing of things as much as we can and like get back into practices, get back into playing together um, and like building that team energy and that team uh, culture like as much as we can. So that's been really nice. Scott, this is a program that has always sort of been on the doorstep of doing some really good things at the state level. Obviously, you play in a very, very difficult league uh, with Union and Skyview. Now you seem to be in a position to maybe make an extended run on top of this league with this influx of talent and players like, like the young lady right next to you. Uh, in terms of realizing that, what, what you can accomplish over the next three, five years, how excited are you for this program? Well, I, I'm very fortunate with the situation that we're in right now. We have a lot of talent in this program. At times, I feel like I'm coaching a little bit of an all-star team. And, um, and it ranges from seniors all the way to freshmen. And so um, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's a really fortunate position to be in right now. Um, we feel like, you know, we would have had a crack at this thing this year. And uh, one, of the, one of the hard parts and one of the hardest pills for us to swallow was, you know, being an up and coming team in the state, um, you know, right on the doorstep, like you said, we, we kind of felt like we were, we were in a good place and we could have made a run at this thing. And, you know, we've got Faith right here coming off a season where she averaged over 15 a game. We've got Jelena Carlisle and Caitlin Forner, kind of our, our core of senior leaders, our nucleus. And this is the only year we're going to have them with that really strong freshman group that we have in. Um, it would have been something special. And so kind of, you know, kind of how we map this thing out, this was going to be a really big year for us. Um, but like I said earlier, like we're just kind of taking it one day at a time and, and, and competing in practice as much as we can and, and having a blast and, and kind of doing our thing because uh, the future is obviously bright. But for us, you know, the future is getting to play tonight, you know, and that's kind of the way we're looking at it. Faith, I'm sure you know you're sort of a rare breed, a back to the basket, the way, the way basketball is evolving. Uh, I wanted to ask you a little bit about just how, where your skill with both hands, you, you're, you're equally talented going over your left shoulder, your right shoulder with both hands. Where did that come from? How much of that is just natural ability and how much of that do you work on? I've definitely worked on it a lot over the years, uh, for sure. Uh, all my coaches have definitely emphasized needing to be able to go both ways, depending on what the defense does, um, and reading the defense, especially, not just predetermining what you're going to do. So it's definitely been a lot of coaching and just working on that skill set. You know, I've seen, I've seen Faith develop so much over the last three years. I, when we first started working with her, um, you know, there was teams that just guarded her to her right hand and said, just don't let her get that right-handed shot off. And they would push her left, and she's just put in the work. Um, she, she works tirelessly in the off season, um, with, with 
her club coaches, with us, with anyone she can get in the gym with. And, um, you know, seeing her like now at this age, at this stage in her life, being able to cope both ways like that. I mean, she is just a rare tool in this game. She can do it. She can do it all. So, Faith, it sounds like you've got a tremendous work ethic and, and you've got a drive to improve. And, and I always love seeing that out of young players. But I also love seeing someone who can kind of look at a player on TV or at the next level and say, hey, I try to pattern my game after that player or I try to learn something from that player. Is there a player at the WNBA or the college level that you really like that you really try to focus in on? Not really that I can think of. Um, I don't think. If I had to choose one, probably Brianna Stewart, just because of like we have similar skill sets because she's you know a big and she can play outside as well. And that's something I definitely like to be able to do a little bit better. Scott mentioned you've got a, a tremendous young group of players coming up in addition to, to Faith and the other seniors. What is it about the standard that faith and your other seniors are setting that you can kind of use as a benchmark for your young players coming up. Yeah. Th these girls know the work, you know, they, they know, they know what we do. Um, I think of their, their team and what they did last year, you know, the five returners, you know, with our three seniors and then throw in our, our guard, Anna Mooney and Ashley Bauer. Um, they, they, they were the, they were a nine loss team that made it to the state tournament last year. And I, I'm pretty sure we were, you know, more losses than anyone else at that tournament. And, um, you know, I think part of it was that process is we lost some games early. Um, we took, you know, we took some L's and said, like, this isn't who we want to be. And so they got to work and they built something special last year. And so now I've got those five returners coming back and saying, like, we know how to do this. Like, we've been through it before. You know, we made ourselves better last year because we worked so hard. And so, you know, we, we always talk in our program about great leaders leave clues. Um, these, these, these seniors are leaving a lot of clues for those freshmen. And if they're gonna make any impact on that freshman group that, you know, that we wanna see as a coaching staff, it's like, that's what it is right there. I mean, they're gonna leave all those clues on how to do this because they put in the work, they know what it takes to get to the dome. They know what it takes to make yourself better throughout the season and continue to grow as a team. And, um, and so, you know, I just like seeing them on the court this year with them. It's, it's just a repeat. It's exactly what we did last year. We work hard every single day. Um, we take care of the details. We do the little things. We share the basketball and we've got great energy on the court. Um, and so, you know, I'm seeing that happen again. And I just know that that's what these seniors are giving these younger kids, you know, the five freshmen and then the two other that are new to the program. Like they're just giving them so much by showing them how to do this. You talked about having five returners, Scott, and then this group of, of, of newcomers, uh, it seems like this integration has been pretty seamless. Why is that? Well, it's it's the seniors, it's the returners, um, it's the it's the culture. Um, I sat down with Faith, Jelaine, and Caitlin before the season started, and we called it a leadership summit. And we said, like, what do you want to get out of this year? You know, you've got a you've got a, a kind of a strange COVID season. Um, you know, what what do you want that to look like? And, you know, I, I looked across at those three and I remember their answers like they were yesterday because I'm smiling ear to ear when I hear their responses of, we want to show these freshmen how we do things. We want to show these girls how we do things so that when we leave, they can go win a championship. You know, and then they say, well, we want to push them every day in practice to make them better. And I'm just looking around going, man, I can't, I can't ask for better seniors. I mean, they, they just, they've done so much for our program already. And then after, after they walk out the door, they're still going to be in our lockers. I mean, it's just, it's, it's amazing what they've done, but that's the reason it's so seamless is because they're here to give, you know, they're here to make others better. They're here to show them how we do things. And, you know, the freshmen and the, and the, and the new girls to the program, they, they just jumped right on board. They said, let's go. Awesome. That sounds like you've got a tremendous foundation uh, for the Camas girls basketball program set. Last question, and this is for both of you uh, before we get going. There's been lots of downtime, I'm sure, for you guys in COVID. Do you have a favorite sports movie and what is it? I don't watch a lot of sports movies. I had to choose one. Uh, we watched Remember the Titans, I think, on the way to a game last year before COVID hit. Um, and that one was, it was really good. Yeah, that's my girl right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. 
Uh, I think I probably watched Hoosiers five times over COVID just because I love that stinking movie so much. But I have to go. Number one to me is still Remember the Titans. Um, it just hits hard every time. Love that movie. Awesome. Well, it sounds like uh, there's some great basketball left in Camus throughout this shortened season. Uh, Faith, I wish you nothing but the best of luck at the next level in college at Kyle Poly. And thanks to the both of you for joining Todd Millis and myself for the SB Live Washington Virtual Media Day. Love it. We appreciate everything you guys do for this state. Uh, we love your coverage. You guys do a great job. Great content. Keep it up.